What's up, friends of the good food? This is Money, and welcome to the next session here in War Robots, guys, with my best ever gameplay with the Vortex Spectre. I'm not even joking, guys. What you're about to see in this video is the best perfection I have ever been able to pull off with a Vortex Spectre ever. You know how much I like to play this thing, how much I actually play this thing? <laughs> and to say this means a lot for me. So let's go and have a lots of fun with this video. And also, by the way, wishing you guys... Oh, here comes a griffin. Sorry, the griffin can't really do much against this. He's pretty much boned about this. Uh, but there's some crazy moments coming, as you have already seen in the intro. By the way, Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's not probably... This video may not be released on New Year exactly. I'm not sure exactly when I come it out. But I want to already say Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully you're getting good into the next year. So let's start with the uh, the Quantum Radar module. Something I haven't really re used so far. Just to show you that even with the Vortex, you can kill a Pursuer when he's in stealth. When you use that Quantum Radar module. I, um, yeah, so I tested this right here as well. And, um... One thing also I want to see while we're watching this this carnage taking place. Did you actually know, guys, that I have a second YouTube channel? Because I haven't really made any advertisement for it yet, which is kind of stupid because, uh, you know, obviously it, I should be mentioning it a few times. And uh, it's a, I play a different game on it. It's called Pixel Gun 3D. If you guys want to check this out, on the upper right corner is a, a link to a video or to the channel. Uh, check it out, please, guys. Maybe you're going to find some joy in watching these videos as well. Uh, I would certainly appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, so uh, the channel is called Good Mood Gaming. <laughs> and I haven't really mentioned it ever, and I feel like I should uh, to uh, make some progress on that second channel as well. It's kind of stupid not to, to mention it. So right here, we just fired a full load against that Leo. Did you see that Leo had... Um, he's got a lot of health, no, no doubt about it. It's a Leo, but I only took like 30% away from him with a full four hit combo. Maybe I should have been fired because ni right now I did a lot more damage much easier. Maybe I should fire them separately against targets and have a lo lot of HP, right? Like this. That's a Natasha up there. Bum, 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 bum. Well, at least half the Natasha went away. And one of my rockets, I think, went into the wall. I need to make this Natasha shoot its Zeus into the wall. So let's try and figure out if we can bait him. Ah, there it is. Yep. I baited him successfully. Now I can walk towards him and I'm already in cover again. And that's it for him. I didn't want to use my stealth jump for this. And I still want to not get hit by that. Um, by the way, it's getting crazy now. We're getting towards the really crazy moments. Oh, there's a Kamiho and he's trying to hide from the other guy. Boom! One hit kill. Rampage. There we go. Keeping on, keeping on. I'm following the Falcon over here uh, that is running this way. And he's trying to capture the beacon. He's distracted. And I'm waiting for the moment for his thing to drop. And there comes a full Spectre. Boom! <laughs> Did you see that? A 100% Spectre drops in. Jag Jaga Jaga Bomb, his name is. He drops in. I I'm waiting for the resistance drop on the Falcon so I can re deal the real damage. That's why I'm not shooting yet. I'm waiting for him to drop his resistance. And while I'm doing this, a Spectre drops drops in in front of me, starts firing, BAM! Instant kill immediately. And I'm not running any boosters, by the way. Uh, I'm also not running any modules with damage increase, only the level 1 basic modules you have. The only module I have here is the active module. And BOOM! There's Jaeger Bomb again, getting the next shot. I, I just used the Quantum Raider again to just try and fool around with him a little bit. And, uh, <laughs> and while my stealth is running away, I'm reloading my rockets and BOOM! Getting him again. God life! But that kill with this, uh, with this, I have never been able to pull this off. Like somebody spawns in front of me and I just instantly vap vaporize him without him even opening fire, doing anything. Just boom, spawn, boom, dead. And that's what I've just done with this Spectre, man. That is so insane. That was a, a, a vortex uppercut from behind and an instant kill on top of that. Did you notice that he's never dropping his resistance, by the way? I'm not shooting because I'm waiting for him to drop his resistance. I, I guess he knows I'm here. Maybe he knows I'm here, but he hasn't ever looked in my direction, so he can't really know I'm here. But, you know, he's just not dropping that resistance, and I just want to do the real damage. Now I decide to say, you know, screw it, let's fire at him. Bam. And you know what he does right after? Now he drops his resistance. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I, I mean, I, I, I get to feeling that he knew I was here, because otherwise, why would he waste so much time not using uh, the, uh, the other weapons, right? And then as soon as I fired, then suddenly he's gonna do it, of course, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> so what a crazy video that is so far already. What an amazing situation. 
killing this guy around the corner because you can very nice send the banana vortex around the walls. And here comes a really awesome thing. I love doing this if it works. It doesn't work always. This guy's a one shot. This guy gets three. He wanted to jump and right before he jumped he got killed and then the, uh, you know, fury with whatever he had got killed as well. That was a double kill. A very juicy one. And the good thing is we got this Inquisitor right when he was about to, to do his stealth jump. He already started jumping away but he got still caught in the explosion. If you, if you go back you can to see it again very nice vortex play here uh which uh you know I'm, I'm not very often you know saying this to myself but in this case i must say this was cool i mean i, I always try this during live streams and such and i usually it fails because the one vortex you sent doesn't actually enough to kill or uh or somehow somebody else kills him right before that happens or it's too fast and he doesn't get killed there's a million reasons why this doesn't work you know and in this case it finally worked and i'm so happy about it as you know so, I did zero damage against the Lancelot, by the way. Did you see that? A full three Vortex came in, zero damage, because he walked backwards. But I was able to <laughs> to banana them around the, the cover right in front of me again, so <laughs> that was good. All right, got him. And, for and for fortunately, I did not get killed. It was close. So, here, sending the rock Vortex at that uh, Raijin sitting right there. Doing a decent amount of damage, considering he's got that much health. And uh, I think he dropped his... He's now in the walking walking mode, so no shield up. Bam. There he is. Is that already it? That's it for the first round, I think. But we have another one of those coming, where I also was very lucky and also kind of uh, tricky with my Vortex. First, let's see how much damage we have done, because in this entire round, I've only run the Vortex Spectre. And I've just done 1.7 million damage with only the Vortex Spectre and nothing Whoa. else. This is, I think, the highest amount of damage I've ever done with a Vortex Spectre, ever. So, um, by the way, I see this guy with his Orc Spectre. He's hiding behind the wall. Maybe he's AFK for a second or he just wants to wait for the right moment, but that right moment never came. I saw him walk over there. I knew it was a Spectre because I saw him for a split second. And uh, whatever his plan was there, waiting for the right moment to strike or whatever, it's not going to happen anymore because <laughs> I definitely crossed the plan uh, right there with this attack. So we have another Vortex Spectre. He's ready to jump uh, an Orc Spectre. He was just about to jump as well. And thankfully my Vortex came in and not allow him to do this. We have him probably spawning right there. There he is right in front of me. Okay. I'm activating the Quantum Radar module waiting for his landing and then boom. All four Vortex perfectly striking the Stealth Inquisitor. Uh, once again, fooling around with the Quantum Raider module. We all know, or I think, I hope we all know, that the, vor the Vortex itself is not really an overpowered weapon, right? The Vortex is quite balanced. You're very weak against fast enemies. High cheese and such, you can't never even really hit at all. And uh, stealth ruins your targeting, and then you have to reactivate it and all that. So the Vortex itself is kind of fair, and I think Vortex and Quantum Raider modules are a really good combination. It makes the Vortex so much more useful in so many situations, right? You can now instant kill a landing Spectre in his jump because you time, you time the arrival of your Vortex perfectly with his landing and now you're able to one-hit kill the landing Vortex Spectre. And that's just something uh, I, was I was unable to do here because of the long targeting system, but I'm still able to send the rockets earlier because I started locking on already in his flight. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think anyone needs to feel bad about using the Quantum Raider module with Vortex, because after all, Vortex is so something we're only using for fun, right? I don't think anybody is really seriously using the Vortex to win the match. For this, you would use the Orc Inspector, rather. But um, it's still something to so much fun, and just getting a little bit more fun of it, out of it by using the Quantum Raider module. Do you see the Inquisitor, by the way, in the back there? This Inquisitor has re received one hit right before he was uh, stealth jumping. Right before his stealth jump, I hit him full in the face with this vortex, and he stealth jumped too slow. If he had stealth jumped earlier, he was at he would be at 100%, but he did it too late, and I got a full hit on. And his buddy from RU, I also hit with the, pretty much the same amount of damage too. So I don't know what we've coming here. Maybe a Kami a Kamiho or something. Um, I already sent some rockets banana ring around the wall, and uh, here continuing on. Oh, it's some it's just a Bulgazari maybe. I'm not even sure what it is. Bulgazari, maybe, or Kamiho? What is it? Show yourself, savage! Make it live up you to your name. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's fire on whatever this is instead. Boom! Okay, it got a decent hit. It was a Bulgazari, I think. 
Um, so it, it got a decent hit, that, uh, that guy over there in the distance. Uh, but he also jumped right when the rockets came. Um, the next shot could be better. So, draining the shield of this high chief from Savage. He's coming for me again somehow, right? He came this way before, and now he's doing it again. Bum, 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 bum. All these vortex doing some nice damage. But we didn't kill him, so I need to revert back, get myself covered with this tower that we have in front of us. And someone comes in from behind and kills him. Alright, so, <laughs> nice. Got some nice backup there. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's jump up, get this guy. Okay, that should be it. Boom, kill. And then we have, uh, a, is it a raven? I think it's a raven up there who's probably jumping as soon as my rockets come in, yeah. Um, so, he did a gr great skillful move right there with his, uh, with his jump. But I think now he used his jump, so next time I fire at him, uh, he may not be able to dodge these shots again. Here we go, and boom! He was jumping right just in time. He was just jumping too. He wanted to do it again and get me without uh, me being able to hit him, but I, uh, I got him right before his jump. Nice. So, you see that again? Look at the vortex, what he does now. He's doing another jump. Boop! Do you see the vortex following him like the most amazing homing missile ever? All right, let's 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 have a look at this again. You see this? Boop! The vortex just flew after him and perfectly hit him in mid-air. I need to just—I never saw this ever again, ever before. Here, you see the rocket now flying. Oh, pop! And it catches him right in mid-air and kills him. What the heck? Thank you, vortex. I didn't know you could do such a thing. Even though I use it so many times, I've never actually done that. So, quantum radar module active and boom. Hit the Pursuer with a bit, bit nice uppercut from the side. Um, but it wasn't enough to kill him. But yeah, so that was uh, the best ever action I've done in Vortex Spectre history. And uh, it's such a fun setup. With Quantum Raider, set definitely more useful against certain setups where normally you can't do Jack Diddley Squad against with your Vortex. But yeah, we had some nice dudes from Rue. Greetings to you dudes over there. And uh, yeah. I hope you guys like this video as well, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.